Some people like to buy flashy luxury cars like Mercedes and BMWs. And some want to buy cars that are loud and are built to draw attention like an SCI. But there is a unique breed that wants a fast American car but they don't want to draw the attention of people and police. So they drive a plain Jane boring car that can still push them back into their seats when they accelerate. Before we get to the video, I hope everyone is doing fantastic. If you're new to the channel, I upload every week so consider subscribing. With no further to do, here are my 5 best American sleeper cars under 5k. 1986 Dodge Omni GLHS the Omni debuted in 1978 with power that could barely make it up a hill. It wasn't until 1985 that Carroll Shelby took the Omni under his wing and named it the Dodge Omni GLH, or the Dodge Omni Goes Like Hell, which has a turbocharged 2.2 liter engine at 7.2 psi. It wasn't until the very next year they introduced the Goes Like Hell some more version, or the GLHS model, which increased it to 12 psi with the help of an air-to-air -air intercooler and a Shelby design intake manifold. This increased the output from 146 to 175 horsepower. You may be thinking, that's not a lot of horses, and you may be correct, but keep in mind the torque gets up to 175 foot-pounds, and it's such a small car weighing at 2200 pounds. The GLHS came in a 5-speed and achieved a 0-60 time at 6.7 seconds. This car can compete. 1990 Mercury Cougar XR7. This was a Fox body of Mercury's. No, it wasn't in any crazy music video, but it may have been sitting in your grandpa's garage. This vehicle is cheap and anyone can easily modify this car. This is essentially the luxury Mustang, without all the cool. It has a supercharged V6 engine that is available in a 5-speed manual and rear-wheel drive. Now think about this, grandpa had to be ripping it. This is a fatter car from the Omni, which is why the Zero 60 is much slower. It weighs 3,600 pounds. 1994 Buick Roadmaster. The name speaks the truth about this car. It's a Roadmaster, comfortable ride, and it's able to really haul. It may seem like a typical wagon, but there's much more that deceives the eye. This monster can tow up to 6,000 pounds with a LT1 towing package. May grab this as my tow rig. You may be thinking I'm joking, but put a small lift on it and you'll be good to go. 2000's Ford SVT Contour Ford worked its magic and finally came out with a car able to compete directly to their European competitors. They gave the car a weird, ugly, bubbly look to it and the car seats, because that's what makes it to be able to be properly claimed as a sports sedan. It's the seats. In the two years this car was on the market, there were only 11,500 units sold. The car wasn't a huge success, which is why it's much forgotten. However, it is worthy to be remembered once again. It was paired with a 5-speed manual. Since there weren't many built, it may be a pain to find. So grab one when it comes available. To give you a price range, a super clean one would be around $3,600. Second Gen Ford Torres SHO. The second gen from 92 to 95. Not the first gen and not the third gen. We don't want those pieces of. The third gen had a lot of camshaft issues in the crazy V8 Yamaha engine. The second gen had a V6 engine as well, but wasn't nearly as much issues. Imagine a high revving engine that has 220 horsepower. That is what you're getting with this SHO. Many consider this Taurus the ultimate sleeper car. It has a bunch of go fast bits and is able to get a 7.6 second 0 to 60, which isn't too impressive, but it beats most cars for the time. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to press that like button, subscribe, and press the notification bell. By now, two videos should be popping up. Be sure to check them out if you had the time. This is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate one another. I'll see you next time.